Hi, my name is Gareth, and in this video, we're going to take a look at coffee brewing scales. As you can see from the array of scales we've got on the bar in front of me, um, over the years, we've accumulated a lot of sets of scales. Uh, different products, different manufacturers, and different features on all these scales. Some of the scales we've bought um, have stood the test of time, and we use them continually at the roastery and others have probably been relegated to a cupboard somewhere. So I've split this video up into two parts. In the first part, I'm gonna kind of go through the features that you might find on scales to give you an idea of what to look for um, if you're gonna buy a set of scales. In the second part of this video, I'm gonna reveal the scales that have stood the test of time at our roastery and the ones that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. So the first thing you want out of a set of coffee brewing scales is they've got an integrated timer. Having a set of scales that you dedicate to coffee brewing is a game changer in my opinion. If you haven't invested in these kind of things yet, it's really worth doing it. You get to see the weight and the timer side by side on the display and it really, really helps. You can weigh the amount of coffee you use, you can weigh the amount of water you use and you can also time the brew. They're particularly useful if you're doing something like a pour over style brew where you're pouring for a prolonged period because you can kind of judge the pace of your pour as the time increases. I probably want at least a two kilogram capacity to the scales that I use. I've got a decent sized Chemex that we use and it weighs about six, 700 grams, at least 500 grams of coffee on top. So you're already in excess of a kilogram so you're going to need at least a two kilogram capacity. In terms of accuracy, for brewing coffee, hand brewing coffee, um, I probably know as long as I can get within a gram of accuracy, I'll be really, really happy. Um, I can't pour water to within, with a greater degree of accuracy than that. And for espresso, I like about a 0.1 gram of accuracy. So the pan size is quite important, particularly if you're an espresso drinker and you want to weigh your dose and the port filter at the same time. So some of these scales obviously have got a decent sized pan and you know you'll get your port filter on there but then they're not going to really easily fit your drip tray on the machine. These are designed for um, espresso brewing and they've got a small footprint to go on your drip tray um, but often the scales will come with a little additional port filter stand so with that in place your port filter can sit nicely on top and you can weigh your dose as well. The more expensive sets of scales will also be rechargeable, which is quite a nice feature. They'll have a USB charging cable with them, which is pretty standard these days for anything that's rechargeable. Water resistance is quite a nice feature to have on scales. When I'm making espresso and using espresso scales, I have a really bad habit of flushing between the shots and dousing my scales with hot water. So water resistance is quite useful for me. That said, if I'm just brewing coffee at home, V60s or Chemex or Aeropresses, it's very rare that I splash water on the scales. So for that kind of brewing, it tends to be less of a feature I'm looking for. The scales will be water resistant at best and they're usually judged against cold water, not hot water. So that water resistance you should see is a bit of an insurance policy. Don't rely on it too much. A lot of the expensive scales have multiple modes built into them. And the idea is they're trying to automate the brewing process for you. So they will auto tear and they will start the time automatically at specific parts of the brewing process. The best way to kind of explain that is if you take these espresso scales, when you um, put them in a partic particular mode, the moment they detect the cup, they tear and they start the timer straight away. So they're really useful if you've got an espresso machine that doesn't have an integrated timer on it. Linked to the multiple modes are external apps that will connect via Bluetooth to your scales. They probably have two or three purposes. One is that you can control the scales very easily using the app. And at least one of these scales is quite difficult to see when you're brewing, so the app's quite useful. Secondly, you can program a recipe into the app 
and then that will talk you through the process during the brewing. So for example, um, these set of scales here, you can pro program in a V60 brew, and you can determine how long you want to wait for the bloom time and how long you want to pour for. And then you press go on your device and it will walk you through the process. And the third feature is you can store and save previous brews that you've done and look back at them, almost like a bit of a coffee journal. So they're kind of the general features you might find on various scales, depending on how much you spend. But which of those features and which of these scales do we use today at the roastery? For a budget set of scales, you can do no worse than going for something like this. Um, really, really simple. It has it weighs. It's got a three kilogram capacity, 0.1 gram accuracy, and it's got an integrated timer built in. And in fact, these are the scales I use at home for all my brewing that we do there. At the roastery, we tend to favour these Hario brewing scales. We've had these for six or seven years. They've been used a lot and they've really stood the test of time. Again, really simple, nothing fancy. They weigh, there's a set of timer built into it and it's all manually operated. Um, I like the minimalist, simple look to these scales. Now um, we'll have two or three of these sets floating around our little brew bar and these are the ones we'll grab um, day in, day out. I'm going to be honest about app connectivity. I'm not a fan. It's not something I look for in the scales. I keep going back to use the apps and different apps that we've got with different sets of scales to re-familiarize myself with them. And it just doesn't work for me. It's not something that um, I enjoy or see much value to. However, if it's something that you really, really like, then probably you need to be looking at something like the Akaya Pearl scales. Um, they've probably got the best app compatibility. Similarly, when it comes to these multiple modes you can get, um, I'm not a massive fan of them. I don't use them very often. In fact, I can never remember what mode does what. So I often spend too much time messing around trying to work out what mode I'm in and what it's supposed to do, when really all I want to do is brew a cup of coffee. And, and honestly, when I'm hand brewing coffee, I don't mind starting scales myself and tearing scales myself. However, there's one exception, and that's when I'm making espresso. And the little espresso scales here have a lovely little mode on that when it detects a cup, it will auto tear and start the timer straight away, which allows me to engage the button on the machine straight away. Most of our machines have got built-in timers here anyway, but particularly when we're out on the road visiting customers, um, these scales are, are really, really useful. They're not cheap, but for a really nice espresso scale, um, I think we've really enjoyed using them and we use them a lot. So they're possibly worth the investment. So there you go, coffee brewing scales. If you've got any questions, comments or queries about these, please feel free to leave a comment and I will get back to you. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching this video. I would love it if you could like it. And we are putting out as much content as we can at the moment. So please feel free to subscribe to our channel to make sure you get the most up-to-date videos as soon as they come out. Mm -hmm.